Yo, 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 yo. What's up? What's up? Nana. Nana. Nana, nana. Got another casty cast for you guys. And. Going to do the series of Dingo and Rabbit. They played for the SCW tournament for a thousand dollars. And Dingo, it's Dingo Rabbit, and I want to say Fuji are in one group. So basically, winner of this, uh, basically winner of this series wins uh, wins the uh, the group. So. I know Dingo went 4-0 on Fuji, so uh, if he wins this, then he's in. Rabbit just has to, if he wins this, then he has to beat Fuji. So, we'll see how these play out. Uh, I know it's a decent amount of games, so um, I'm excited to see Rabbit's ones against Dingo's ones. I know Dingo's got really good pro toss, and Rabbit playing for money. I mean, he's got a really good... He's, Rabbit's really good too as well. So I think these guys are really pretty close. I'm going to take my melatonin right now. i get a nice little scouty scout right here. I don't really like the four gateways from Dingo. Never really did. But we know both players are going to be trying their best. Playing for $1,000. Going to go after the Proba Dubs, I think. We'll see. Might just save his SCB, bring it back. And he might just build a bunker up here. We'll see. We'll see when he gets gas. Too. There's his first gas. Looks like he's going to build a depot right there. Dingo going to get a nice little scout off. Going to save that nicely. People have been saying that Dingo might be uh, stream. What's it called? Watching Rabbit stream. Because I think Rabbit was playing this. Was streaming while he was playing this. And I think that's just too difficult to do. I think a depot is going to come right here from Rabbit once he gets 100. Kind of wall this off a little bit. Come on, Rabbit. I know you want to do it. There's Fuji. He's on my friends list. I know he wants to do it. Build that depot. Maybe not. Okay, he doesn't want to. So we got a lot of zealots coming in here. I'm going to try to take out that SCV right there. And gonna micro these guys back. I think we got a couple proba dubs here. Probably gonna go for a cannon rush, it looks like. And Dingo might get an a Nexus. He's got the money for it. Gonna micro backwards. Gosh, I love this SCW tournament. This has got to be one of the best seasons. Gonna take out one zealot, two zealots. Looks like three zealots. Gonna micro these guys a little bit. There's the third one. And using these SCVs to get in the way. So gonna handle that pretty easily. Getting that. He's probably got three. Oh, he's got Two fire bats and a medic on the way. There's your pylon. Pylon probably going to get built over there. A couple more zealots coming in here. Uh, someone was saying that my when I do F uh, to message my friends, it's FM. I know. And then uh, also you can just do F, F, R. And then F. And then it just R removes them. So I, it would have been accidental. So. Uh, I think his name's Creative. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate it. So I'll try to do that. I'm just so used to doing FM MSG. So it looks like uh, Rabbit handled that pretty easily. No Nexus, no gas for Dingo. Might get two gas now. We'll see. Might get actually get a choke, it looks like. So Rabbit did pretty good job there. Now he's probably just going to go right on the offensive. He's got extra command center. Handled that really easily. A couple cannons coming here. Going to take this out. Going to spot that out. And yeah, like I was saying, if you're trying to stream snipe, I think it's called, uh, it's extremely difficult to do that while you're playing at whatever APM you are. I mean, you could have maybe someone say, yo, you should go for this, go around or whatever, but to play, I think you would need someone to tell you to do that. So I'm going to take all this out. Looks like these guys are going to go down. So good job here by Rabbit. He's going to build another barracks. Looks like he's going to get offensive. There's a Probodob in here. Going to scout this out. Might kill this SCV right here. We're losing some. This guy might go down. We'll see. And going to split up the Zealots up here. Two Zealots right here. Two Zealots right here. And he's going to have this walled off. But we'll see if an, an attack comes. Double factory. 
Rabbit really playing this one nicely. Toki is a machine. And here's your triple from Dingo getting his gas pretty late. So definitely Rabbit's definitely ahead in this. Same supply, same SCV count. A little bit higher, so he's got one extra SCV. He did lose it. That probe did do its job. Now he's going to finish up that command center. And take out that pylon. And that's going to actually supply stuck for literally half a second there. But And then he's got some zealots over here. He might use these guys to scout again. But triple factory. Rabbit in a bad position right here. Easy to drop. So we'll see if Dingo tries to take advantage of that. Dingo's Protoss, very, very good with dropping. Three cannons here. We'll see if Rabbit just tries to bulldoze through the front here. Looks like he is going to. Not stimmed up yet. And see if a scan comes down. I think he must have used, unless I just finished right now. So we'll see if a scan comes down. Needs to kill this pylon. And there is a turret. I think so. I think I'm going to do the first three games for sure. We'll see if I do four. I'm going to do... Um, they played a decent amount of games, so I don't want to give away anything. It's best of seven. So here's your, it's probably a turret. Yeah, so we're going to build a turret here. And you got a gateway here, so I might use that for DT. He's going to try to take out this gateway. This guy's in range. He does have range for his bio. This is finally going to go down. After, and there's your scan. So we're going to see that he's upgrading. Not going to see much of a tech. The tech is over here, though. So there's your tech. There's your citadel. And here is two more cannons. Here's your robotics. No. So no robotics just yet. So uh, let's see if a DT comes out of there when a Templar Archives finishes. And I think Rabbit's just going to start pushing really quickly. He's got the two tanks. He's going to be pumping out of three factories. Pulling a couple more SCVs here. He's got some decent defense. We'll see if he builds a... Bunker back here. Uh, is siege is he? Is siege has got to be done. So there's siege right there. So gonna start pushing really, really hard. And now Dingo is gonna be in a position where he's just gonna have to keep building cannons as much as he can. He's gonna try to win with this expo right here. Probably build some DTs once the Templar Archives finishes. Let's see if he's getting speed. Speed is on the way. Gonna continue to make zots. And this is why I don't like that four gateway rush. It just really doesn't. It doesn't seem to work. There's a scan coming down. Going to see the cannons. Going to see he might be able to stim in here and just go right for it. See if that uh, upgrade should be getting close to being done. Going to start bulldozing through the the choke. And he's going to have this choke. That's a lot of zealots though. So going to have to micro. Going to stim these guys up. And going to probably try to splash damage a lot of these guys if he can. He's got this X. These guys coming from behind. He's got some fire bats. So smart move here. Switching into fire bats. And this is all going to go down. Rabbit playing this one like a machine that he is. He's got six barracks. That upgrade did finish. And let's see what's getting built over here. A lot of... There's your DT and a lot of zealots. So going to go for that. The expo. Let's see if he's getting upgrades. Let's see if he's got an armory. He's been using his scans pretty well. Here's another factory. And no starport yet. So just really going to rely on the turrets and... Um, yeah, just rely on the turrets and his scans. So he's playing off of just one command center. This I can't wait for the. Um, there's two more turrets coming down. I can't wait for the the finals too as well. There's actually two bunkers coming down. You got Buell already, and then the other group hasn't even played yet. But whoever comes out of that group is going to be good too. You got Jose, Hydra, and um, Scan. And um, I, anyone could come out of that one for sure. So that's going to be a good, good group. I think it's going to be Jose or Hydra. I don't think Scan is going to come out of that group. I'm calling it now. I think Scan is up there, but I just don't think he's going to come out of that group. That one might result in a tie. Here's your Expo, and looks like he's just going to go for the counterattack. Because really building in here, 137 supply to 148. Looks like he's going to go for the attack here. He's got a couple storms coming down. And let's see, there's, there's got to have one upgrade. One upgrade on the attack. And here's that counter. You have to stim these guys. I don't think he notices it yet. Is he not stimming these guys? Yeah, he doesn't notice it yet. He's pulling some of these SCVs up here. He's slowly pushing here, though. But he's got to pull back, Mike, or rally these guys 
Back home. Probably build some fire bats. He's already got fire bats on the way. Three tanks just spawn. Might build a bunker right here. Yeah, there's your bunker. Needs to survive this, because if he can survive this, these guys are all railed up here. He needs to make sure these guys are railed back. Taking out the SCVs. He's at 52 SCVs. And nice counter right here. Going to keep trying to push closer and closer to the main. So this has actually turned out to be a really, really good game right here. 144 supply to 108. And the fire bats needs to stim these guys up. Get a couple medics as well. This did finish. So he is actually going to be okay, I'm pretty sure. So now he's getting closer. Nice scan right here. Getting closer to the probodubs. Going to move this tank right on in here. Seize this guy up. And go for the left side. Nice scan right there. That's 72 and all the way down to 10 probodobes and I think Rabbit's going to have the first game, a TVP. This might be the first matchup that we've seen where the Protoss loses. I'm going to keep sending these guys in, but that was huge right there. And a couple Dragoons and a DT here. There's a, All these bunkers are filled, so this will be okay. And now Dingo is in a tough position right now. And some more bunkers coming down. And I'm guessing some scans are going to come down from Rabbit. He's going to try to find that exo. Might just stim these guys out. He's repairing this. So let's see what he does here. I'm pretty sure he knows that he hit him pretty hard with that. Ooh, here comes a, a counter attack. There's a scan. Not a counter, but a, a flank attack on this. And he's probably going to send the Zots. Going to try to take this out. And going to pull back. Let's see if he actually goes for it. Get that vision back. I mean, these games have been great. There's a turret right there. I don't see a DT, so must have. And these fire bats in here. Gonna spin these guys, put them back in like a boss that he is. I think he accidentally took them out on accident. But this is gonna go down, so. Dingo is going to survive this. So, he is going to survive this. Here's your tank, so this is gonna be. This is the one thing about this position. It sucks for drops. Very easy to get dropped, but you can just put your tanks right here. There's a scan coming down. And you have this this nice placement right here, which just absolutely smashes. And might be able to go for a tank drop. I don't see. There's your starport. So we'll see if he goes for a starport. Probably going to build a science facility, but might get a dropship first. Probably Rabbit needs to try to scout this expo. He knows there's an expo. Let's see what the upgrades are. 101. And now Rabbit gonna play a little bit defensive, get a couple bunkers right here. He's got the Volchis. There's a Templar right here, and I don't see a robotics facility. 123 supply, 124, 125 supply. And might build a looks like a depot, maybe? Yeah, gonna build a depot right there. So that was a lot of action right there. Glad I kept going. Here's another Nexus, another scan coming down. Gonna see all this, gonna see the Templars. Probably going to build that science facility. There it is. And now he's going to start going for the attack. I'm surprised he didn't just leave some of his tanks right here. Just for protection. It's always good to leave maybe three here. But we'll see. And he still has not scouted. He might bring this one over to right here. Let's see. He's got the vultures in here. Probably going to start laying some mines. The mines are going to be huge. Tanks are pushing. No upgrades on his tanks. I haven't seen... No drops have come from Dingo. It's just been an all-out mass. Both players are playing at very high APM, 240, 270. Rabbit usually only plays at about uh, 220, so he's really, really trying his booty all. And uh, Dingo just going to keep trying to survive here, slowly pushing in here, using the fire bats. Let's see what the upgrades are on the fire bats. 1-1, one, one, and he needs that science facility so he can keep upgrading his bio. But he's going to slowly push in here. I don't see an armory. Need to get those armor, get that armory in here. Look at all these fire bats. Really switch it up into fire bats and tanks. Now he's trying to. Looks like he's gonna build some turrets around. And let's see what Dingo's doing over here. Not gonna build anything over here. And as I say this, Alabama is playing Georgia. I got Alabama. And I hope hopefully I got some money on them. So hopefully Alabama wins. Nice stormy storm right there. Still no drop, so I really I thought this game was gonna be over already, but Rabbit kinda had it, but then he he kinda fumbled it. Uh Tommy fumbles right here. Jake Paul style. But I think he's gonna re uh recover his fumble. 
Because I think he's got this one. I saw a skank come down. I think it was right here. I'm going to probably take these guys out. Nice little stormies right there. And moving the tanks. And going to go for the minerals. He scanned right here. So he's going to go right for the probodobes. And this is probably going to be the GG McGee right here. Yeah, there's the left side down to 35 probes. Going to try to get that right side. 32 probes. So good move there by Rabbit. I'm really shocked that he just hasn't gone after this expo. If he finished that expo off, he... Maybe he's going to lay mines. That's what he's... Maybe just lay mines all in the middle with the with the vultures. And... Continuing to pump. Look, he's got 3k in the bank for his... Um... For his gas, so really doesn't need any more gas. He's got the vessel here. I heard some mines going off. I think right here, some mines went off. Dingo trying to survive. He might actually survive, and if he can get some drops off, he needs to get those drops off. If he lands one full drop, he can be in a decent position. And no upgrades for. There we go. Finally getting the upgrades for his Mac. And now. Dingo. Dingo is doing a pretty good job surviving. I just don't think he's going to survive much longer. I'm just shocked that Rabbit is not going for this expo right here. He knows there's an expo. A couple cannons coming down for Dingo. He's trying to survive a little bit longer. He does have the triple or the three extra nexuses here. So it helps out. He's probably got one. He's got one zero one. Working on uh, two zero one, I think. Or one one one. And here comes the attack from Rabbit. He's basically maxed out 180 supply. Sending all these guys over. Gonna lay some more mines here for those zealots that come over. Nice storm right here from Dingo. And Rabbit has a lot of money in the bank. So he's gonna be able to just continue to mass up. Build some more yeah, barracks, some more factories, I'm sure. Keep building the vultures and just lay the mines. He's gonna siege these guys up and laying the mines right here. Dingo going to keep surviving, though. Nice storm. Always want to use storms against tanks. They're really, really effective. Uh, I know Hydra's really good at doing that. That's one thing that makes Hydra's Protoss pretty pretty strong. Is his, he's good at using his, um, his Templars and storming tanks really well. So we're just going to continue to mass up. And... Just trying to bust through the front, front 115, 120 supply for Dingo. I think this might be the GG. We'll see if some tanks get sent down here. Got a couple uh, uh, Templars here. Might go for the Storm, but those guys got sniped out pretty pretty nicely. And I think the GG is going to get called any second now. Going to probably seize these guys up. Or he's going to move them in here, go for the Probodubs. These guys are going to try to cut that off, and he's going to micro him back. Look at this big attack coming, basically maxed out. And... Yeah, this is over pretty soon. We haven't seen a drop. There's your robotics facility, but this is pretty much over. Dingo not going to give up. Here's your siege going to come down. Might just go for the main, I think. Oh, very good combination. Look at these. All these guys are going to get blasted. So smart move there by Rabbit. All of these guys are basically going down. There's the GG. Dingo going to lose the first one. And a TVP. So Rabbit in a... He was in a vulnerable spot where he could have got dropped pretty easily. So now we're going to see a PVZ. Let's see the score of the game. Nine to six. Wow, it's been a low scoring game. And Dingo gonna be in a middle Zerg. We're gonna see Rabbits. Protoss, usually he builds a pylon here, two gateways. And then I think he gets a Nexus or he builds three gateways and just goes kind of a mid build. So we'll see if that's what he does here. So he builds the pylon. And then brings the uh, probe back. Then for the next one, we'll see if he builds the gateway on the next one. Yeah, so he's going to build the gateway on the next one. I'm trying to understand this build order. And then he waits. So I think a probe's going to spawn. The uh, probe spawns. 
Then he builds the second gateway, scouts after that. Here's your choke from Dingo. And he's gonna scout, maybe he's just gonna scout chokes, we'll see. But if you're playing a Terran, uh, usually a Terran doesn't choke, so he's probably gonna go all the way down. This is random versus random. So gonna scout all the way down, nice scout, gonna see perfectly. And bringing this probe up to build another gateway, I think, or he's gonna build a forge. I think a gateway it looks like or just scout okay all right rabbit so now i just produced one zealot another probe here's your these are the same colors here we go there we go so he's got two zealots on the way and pick it up pick it up pick it up gonna build his nexus it looks like there's his first nexus and let's see what Dingo's up to. He's got his drone right here. And that first game was pretty good. Uh, Dingo survived. I think Dingo... I think Rabbit could have beat him earlier if he went for... Oh, and already sending the Zod here, so this is going to do some damage. And... Going to attack that... Sunken... Or Creep Colony. And not just... Uh, he is going to send this one in. Here's your Zerglings. And I'm gonna use these Zerglings. These guys are gonna run past. This guy might get some kills at seven drones right now. So gonna run these guys back. This choke is gonna come up. Gonna have to micro. Gonna lose one drone for sure. There's one. Gonna lose two, not micro. And oh, he could have got two right there if he wanted to. And he microed them to the left side. So he did lose one. And he lost that sunken. Might lose this. There's a Zot chilling right here. So doing a lot of damage with this two gateway. And then a Nexus. And then here is the Overlord. And this guy's going to come in. There's a Sunken right here. And going to try to get one more kill. Nice little micro from Dingo. So, good job there by Dingo. Might build a chamber up here to kind of wall this off. And I'm guessing a Cyber. There's, oh, there's a Forge. Here's your Cyber for Rabbit. And we'll see what he progresses into. See if he goes for that mid build or just straight reaver drop. Probably going to go for a reaver drop. Pick up some zealots. Pick up the reaver and then go for the minerals. A mid zerg is very, very difficult to win. We have seen that. And there's another gateway coming down. These zerglings are going to get some information. I don't know why he kept his overlord going. He could have kept his overlord in here and got some information. Here's your, your robotics. Whoa, uh, your robotics facility. And a nice little micro there from Rabbit. Playing at about 230, 240 APM. Just a cannon. There's your cannon. Getting an upgrade, so looks like he's going to go for that Zealot Speed Frontal Attack. I think he's going to push with the Reavers and then just try to bust through the front. No gas getting made for Dingo. He is actually supply stuck right now, so... Not playing this one as good as he should. Just getting his first gas right now. And Rabbit did a really good job doing a lot of damage to the Citadel. A lot of damage early on with those two gateways. And then he went for the next. So Rabbit is definitely ahead right now. There's that robotics going to finish up. Probably going to build a support bay. Another robotics. So going to... And then he's probably going to build a support bay. Here's a... These almost look like little dingoes. So I'm going to go for the attack here. Zerglings are like little dingoes. That's what I think of. Um, going to try to probably kill this and then run right past, I think. So if he kills that one and runs right past. Here's two more hatcheries getting made. There is a suck in here, so that's going to help out. I don't see any zerglings, though. Here's your four, here's four zerglings that are going to be able to help out. Might just go after... He's going to go after the sunken... And then he'll probably go right after the drones. Sunken's trying to hang on for dear life. These guys are going to go down. I think he's trying to micro this drone. He's doing a little work. Uh, these guys are low on HP. This guy should go down. And now I'm going to go after the attack. Here's your Hydro Den. And probably going to get at least three kills. One kill. Two kills. Three kills. Four. No, three kills. So going to get three kills. Let's see. Getting four gateways here, so he's going to have a total of seven gateways. Double robotics. He's got the support bay getting speed. And playing off of, going to have these macro hatches that are going to be finishing up. Getting a sunken colony. 
Hydra should be on the way. There's one. And this might be a Hydra as well. Nope, that's going to be a drone. So here's an Overlord. Going to get that vision of any drops. The drop's probably just going to go right here. And then right here. Or right here. Send these guys out. Two more. Three more macro hatcheries. So, and a lair on the way. So, even though Dingo got hurt pretty bad, he's making a lot of hatcheries to try to catch up. Another couple gateways coming down. So, five plus four. So, nine. My math is on point. That upgrade should be close. Yeah, just about done. And a couple of Zerglings up here for vision. And he's got three Hydras getting speed, I'm pretty sure. That's what I saw it as. And he's going to have a decent amount of Hydras, so. And here is that frontal push. And just going to frontal push. Let's see if the speed, speed is done for the Zots. So Zot speed is done, so he's just going to try to... Take out as many of these as he can. Maybe even take out this hatchery. Zergling right here. That's going to take up two scarabs. So sometimes you want to just keep sending one Zergling, one Zergling, one Zergling, one Zergling. And that's another two scarabs right there. So that's four scarabs. Send another Zergling. I think that's exactly what he's doing. Buys you a little more time. You just keep sending them, keep sending them. There's another scarab. So good job there by Dingo. Send in another one. See, he's got them. So smart move here by Dingo. Buys him a little bit more time. And let's see if a, there's another, so three robotics here, another Zergling, so Dingo doing a nice job with that, he's got a decent amount of Hydras, but that upgrade is finished, a lot of Zealots right here, 132 supply, but another Zergling, so good job there by Dingo, he's getting some Hydras, but there's going to be three, or two Reavers, and then another uh, he's got this reaver right here. Let's see if he's got he's got two more reavers on the way with the shuttle. Here's that frontal attack. Trying to snipe that out. If he can snipe that out. Use these seconds to try to attack these reavers if he can. And he did take out that shuttle, but trying to micro back. Micro back and another shuttle probably gonna be on the way. I don't know if he just doesn't notice this, but he's just going for the all-out attack here. Microing these guys back. These reavers are pretty strong. And nothing. Hydras are just not going to be able to do it, I don't think. So I think it's going to be 2-0 right here. He's got five macro hatcheries. Needs to try to snipe out that Reaver. That Reaver got two kills right there. But look at all of these Zots right here. And Rabbit's PVZ is really, really good as well. I do think that I Buell is better than Rabbit. So... It's going to be a matchup game between them two if they, they end up playing. So 2-0, Rabbit. 2-0 on Dingo right now. So we'll go right into the third game. And this time we got a PVZ, but it's going to be Dingo on the Protoss. And then Rabbit on the Zerg. And if you guys aren't subscribed, appreciate it if you guys do. If not... That's all good. And Rabbit going to be in a nice little position to, if he chokes hard enough and gets Guardians, maybe goes for a quick Lurker drop. Could try to win this one. Dingo in a middle Protoss. And Dingo's PVZ is extremely, extremely good. We'll see if he goes for a Nexus or if he goes for that four gateway. I don't really like that four gateway build, but the one thing about Dingo though is he does switch it up. As I say that, he goes, he's gonna go for the four gateway. Nice little placement of the hatchery here. Walled this off. There's your pool. This guy's gonna get a nice scout off. Here's your four gateway, and he always like messes up with that gateway. I think he does that on purpose, but it's very, very ugly. I think he just does it for his signature or something. It's his signature move. So this guy's going to get that scouty scout off. Getting that quick early gas. I think Rabbit thinks he's up against a Terran. He's thinking, no way am I up against another Pro a Protoss again. He's going to see. And let's see if Dingo can see this. So Dingo's going to see. And Dingo's going to see the choke. Going to send the two Zealots right on out. Four more zealots on the way. 
And Rabbit gonna get this information right here. Gonna see he's up against four gateways just like he was. And that TVP, here's two creep colonies. A third one looks like it's gonna come down. One thing Rabbit, oh, he used that and he uh, got the mineral right there. One thing that Rabbit's good at is really choking up hard. So, I could see him putting a chamber right here. Nice catching this zealot right here. Good job there by Rabbit. And at nine drones, here's a probe in here and a zealot. Six zerglings trying to go after the drone right here. Going to micro that out and not going to lose it. So, good job there by Rabbit. And... Rabbit is obviously really good at 2 vs 2, but he's also really good at 1 vs 1. And going to micro this guy around, going to keep sending the Zealots, and there's the chamber, like I was saying, but I think they could still slide through. And this is why I don't like that 4 gateway, because this chamber really is very, very effective. So, with these 8 Zealots... You gotta kill this chamber. I don't think they can really slide through unless these Zerglings get in the way. They're not getting in the way, so these guys are gonna make it through. He should have had these Zerglings right here. And but I think he is gonna survive this pretty pretty easily. This guy's gonna go down. One of these guys, yeah, these guys are gonna go down. So not gonna really lose any. Lost one sunken. This was a little bit low on HP. And now he's probably going to send these guys. He's actually going to run these guys back. Probably just put them in hold position. Build another sunken right here. He still only has one extra macro hatchery. He is supply stuck like Dingo was last game. Uh, I meant to mention he put that overlord here to be extremely annoying with the mineral patch. And here's another macro hatchery. Getting the gas. I saw he went for the triple nexus and then he canceled one of the nexuses. Here's your Cyber Rabbit is getting the Scout off with the Overlord. Going to see that Cyber, so doesn't have to worry just yet. And this is boxed off from getting the drones in here. One of them's going to have to gonna die. So unfortunately, going to lose one of his drones right there. Going to build another Sunken right here. Knowing that this is... Dingo is basically all Zealots right now and no drops anytime soon. And the reason Dingo built this over here was so this doesn't die to um, Guardians or just, I think Mutos might be able to can maybe get a good spot with Mutos or something like that. So three extra macro hatcheries onto the gas. He's got two gas. We'll see if he goes, I think this is probably, yeah, like Hydro's Den. See if he goes into a lair. Some cannons coming down, so smart move here by Dingo. I'm going to use the Zerglings to try to take out these cannons, but the reason for getting these cannons here is it's going to take out this hatchery and this uh, chamber. So that's going to be a good good move here. Let's see if a cannon gets made here to get rid of this Overlord. Because it's very annoying. Might lose this Overlord right here, so... I think that's a misclick by Rabbit. And let's see if he starts making Hydras. Guy gonna go down, so missed click, and this is gonna go down. So smart, smart move there by Dingo. He's getting a Corsair as well. There's a, another two gateways on the way, so and he's getting speed. So he's just gonna try to bulldoze through the front, which I think he might be able to. Speed is about a fifth done, maybe a quarter done. So gonna take a little time. Here's another macro hatchery. That's one thing about Rabbit is he likes to go for maybe six or seven macro hatcheries. And then mass produce the hydralisks. So let's see if he starts making hydras. He's got six hydras on the way. And this is gonna go down. So he's gonna lose another overlord. That's gonna be the second overlord he loses. And speed is a little bit over halfway done. Gonna keep producing the zealots. And gonna keep using the corsairs, I think, to just take out as many overlords as he can. And gonna get some scout off with this. Gonna see those Hydras, gonna see how many Sunkins are up here. And there's only seven. He's got some Hydras. And gonna see the tech of Rabbit. Just a lair, there's four macro hatcheries. So he's thinking that maybe he can bulldoze through the front, getting a Templar Archives. Not getting an upgrade just yet. And here's your Queen's Nest. This is one thing that Rabbit does well, is he gets that Queen's Nest. 
because he knows that after he gets the hive, it really doesn't matter about having losing your queen's nest. Going to kill these cannons so these zealots can kind of bust through the front. Come in a big, nice clumped pile. And here comes your frontal attack. A lot of zealots, 132 supply, lost another overlord. And just going to try to overpower through the front right here with all of these zealots here. Three sun guys are going to spawn. Going to keep making the hydras from here. He is supply stuck though. Or he was and he stopped making hydras. Those Corsairs really, really helped out a lot for Dingo. Let's see if he's making a hive. Not going to make the hive. So I think that's going to be the G, G right there. So well played by Dingo. Using the Corsair really nicely. Didn't go for any drops again like he did last game. But it's only 8 minutes and 30 seconds in. So he still could go for drops. And there's the GG. So I guess I'll go for the next game. So 2-1 to one, Rabbit. I'll do a, uh, this will be the last game of the part 1. Let's see what the matchup is. Protoss versus Terran. And we saw Dingo lost the first Protoss versus Terran in the very first game. I feel like I'm losing my voice already. Because I was talking all day for work. Uh -uh. So going to be a nice little corner spot. And the score is 2 to 1. Guessing Rabbit going to play with the 3 barracks. We'll see if Dingo goes for the same 4 gateways like he did uh, with both Protosses. So he's got Protoss 3 times. So if he loses this one, he's, he's going to be in trouble. He needs to win this one. So I rarely see Rabbit go for a mech build. I don't think it's really his style, I think, but he does go for a mech build, I guess, in twos. He does have good uh, vulture micro, but not the best. So, going to go with the four gateways, but all four gateways at the same time, which is a little bit delayed for your first two zealots, and then you're just going to have four zealots quicker. So it's just a little bit different build order, slightly different. Probably going to build a pylon out here. See, and we'll see if he makes the zealot right away, or if he waits. Some players like to wait for all zealot, or all gateways to finish, but since you make the gateways left to right here, this zealot's gonna spawn. This zealot's gonna spawn. This zealot's gonna spawn. This zealot's gonna spawn. They're gonna be a little bit delayed. Our Marines already coming in here, and ooh, going for. He's going to get that scout off, so he's going to see that gateway, and he's going to know he's up against a Terran. So he's actually going to get a little bit defensive here. Rabbit is. but so And he's not actually doesn't have these guys rallied, so that one came first. Usually if you have them rallied, they all will actually clump up together. It's kind of a little trick. And here is your first bunker. Let's see if he's getting... This should be close to done, and probably going to get... We'll see if he gets two fire bats, or if he gets a... Medic and a fire bat. Gonna get stim right away. This is complete, so this is probably gonna deter. Maybe build a depot right here. Gonna deter these zealots. And the reason Rabbit's able to. Yeah, there's your depot. Rabbit's able to go for this. Oh, well, annoying right here with the SCV. Able to go with this build order is because he is in a corner spot. So there's a lot of zealots right here. So eight zealot, seven zealots, and a probe. This guy's tweaking out. Does not want to go into battle and die. And I'm going to keep getting that scout off. Two medics. So we went with two medics here. Probably going to get two fire bats now. Yeah, two fire bats now. And Dingo going to start trying to get cannons up here. Take out this depot. And pressure Rabbit early on. We'll see if, a, if he makes a factory right away. Two more fire bats. Now he looks like he might just go for the attack. Here comes a... Tag. Nice stims already done. He's going to stim up. Put these guys probably back in here. These guys are stimmed up. And they're going to go in there. And got a couple fire bats here. Going to stim these guys down. And going to have to take these guys out. He's got two medics here. And 
Gonna try to take out this front that Ken's gonna finish. So Dingo doing a nice, nice job trying to micro these guys around, get them in a good position where the medics are in front of the Marines. And this is gonna go down right here. Not gonna supply Stuck Rabbit though. Gonna run these guys to the side. This cannon should be finishing soon. Extra commands are already coming from Rabbit, so he's not too worried about the pressure here. Double gas for Dingo getting a cannon here just in case. Firebats run past and go for the minerals. And now a cannon coming in here. Gonna probably finish off this bunker. Nice stim and gonna get some information right here. Playing off of three barracks and I'm guessing two factories are gonna come down. I'm gonna get that information. Here's your first nexus from Dingo. You can see he went for an extra command center. These guys are gonna go down, but they did a little damage, double factory. So playing this one really similar to the last TVP. The only difference is Rabbit went for a Firebat Medic early build, but this is the thing that Dingo's got the choke basically. And actually I think Rabbit's gonna try to take this out if he can. Trying to micro this back. Zealot coming in here. There's a Probodub in the corner. Going to definitely take out these two cannons right here. Now let's see if he's getting range. No range just yet. And another command center right there. And this is not going to be able to finish up. Going to have to cancel that. But I think he's, he did cancel it. So good job there by Dingo. And now Rabbit has his choke back. So he's in a good position. He's got the extra command center getting a comm set. So he can get some vision. Another factory and gonna spot this out right here and triple nexus for dingo the other nexus the extra one extra nexus is just about done we'll see as soon as this comes down if he scans right away gonna get a quick starport faster starport than he did last game and we'll see if rabbit just kind of turtles up he's in a corner position does not really need to be aggressive. Gonna lose these guys on accident. Lost three Marines right there. That's a lot of zealots right here from Dingo. So Dingo at 74 supply. He's got a Citadel of a Dune, a robotics facility on the way. And no bunkers here. So just gonna rely on the medics and fire bets and Marines here. And waiting for that scan to come down. That comp set on that one's gonna come down. Heard a stim, so he's gonna actually go for the attack right here. And I'm guessing he has range on his Marines. I'm gonna take that out really, really quickly. And gonna have to run back, and Dingo's gonna have to play a little bit defensive. He was getting a cannon right here, so these cannons are gonna finish up. So he should be okay. Here's the robotics facility, Temple Archives on the way. A couple more cannons coming down. Boxing this off with gateways. Might build a pylon right here or something. Probe might get sniped out. This guy's going to die. I'm going to see all of these cannons. Here comes the frontal attack. Going to try to take out that cannon right there. This is a lot. This is too many zealots. And Rabbit's going to have to go on home. And he's got two tanks right here. So he's actually just going to put these guys in the middle. And be extremely aggressive like he was last game. And we'll see if a Templar drop comes from Dingo. I think that rabbit is being a little bit too aggressive, but that's the one thing that the Koreans do is they're extremely aggressive. A drop ship right there, so and he's gonna build a bunker right here. Probably gonna start building turrets right here. If he gets three turrets right here, he'll be good for one, at least a, a slow shuttle drop. And I don't see an engineering bay there. Oh, he does have. A, he is getting the upgrade. So pushing through the front, probably gonna build a turret right here. He's got this. His com sets. He's got three. Five total scans, so he will be prepared for DTs. Here's your Templar. Eight minutes and 30 seconds into the game. Dingo at 115 supply. Rabbit just showing you his TVP is no joke. He is one of the smartest players, and he's going for a tank drop, so he's going to go for the tank drop before Dingo goes for the Templar drop. So here's your four gateways, and going to sneak this in. 58, 59 probes. And is he not going to see it? And ooh, we lost a lot right there. 32. Lost 32. I think he lost about 36 of his probe adobes. Rabbit showing you why he is a boss. There's a Reaver. CB Reaver Shuttle Micros. And going to actually just go for the frontal attack. Here's a DT. 
I'm guessing another drop is going to come from Rabbit. He's got the drop ship here. Going to seize this up. Might just want to build a barracks here. Knows he got that drop off pretty nicely. And now Dingo's still going to be aggressive, even though he lost 36 probes. Here's a Corsair. Templar drop probably going to come. That's the one thing about Dingo is he's really good with drops. Running these guys back. Let's see if that upgrade is finished. Firebats do a little extra damage, plus two. And Dingo going to run back. Might just start building some cannons in the middle. Buy himself some more time. Going to have to build some cannons yet. Needs to build some cannons over here. Make sure he doesn't get dropped again. He needs at least three here. And he should have built, instead of building these cannons right here, he should have built three cannons here, three cannons here, and then one, one, something like that. Going to put that reaver here. It'll help with the drops. Look at all this defense on this side for Rabbit. So Rabbit worried about drops on the right side more than he is on the top, thinking that he's going to go around, which he might. So there's your science facility on the way. Got the double. Engineering Bay looks like a drop's coming and it's gonna come from that same spot and He might be able to get this off, but I think that Reaver Will be in a good position. He might actually just run it. We'll see where he goes with this drop Gonna try to maybe he'll just fly it all the way around He's got some good defense on the side right here for drops And this is turning out to be a good TVP So he's going with the double drop might just drop these guys right here Take out these cannons right here and then uh, wait for Dingo to send out all of his Zots up here. And then uh, just go for a nice little dropity drop right there. Here's a Probodobe. Going to build an Expo, it looks like. Dingo's back. To Ooh, oh, no, I missed it. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry, guys. He lost all of his SCVs. Damn it. Let's see what this guy kills this guy got. Oh, my bad. Sorry, guys. I was paying attention to this dropship. So gonna go for the drop right here. He went for a triple shuttle drop. God damn it! Sorry guys. So Dingo got a nice drop, but he's also getting dropped pretty hard right here. Oh, I hate missing drops. Fudge. All right, so it looks like that drop probably just came right down the front. Does have the triple, and it's another drop. So another drop coming from Dingo, or I mean from Rabbit. And let's see if a drop's coming from Dingo. Looks like it is. And he's going to use that Corsair. Just one Templar in here. I'm going to lift this up. So, not exactly sure. Getting some better positioning, it looks like. But here comes that drop. And let's see if Rabbit. Rabbit was scanning. He's pulling his SCVs. And there's your Storm. Not going to really get too many kills. There's only one Templar in here, so pulling all these guys up. And gonna take out this armory, so no upgrade right there. And there's this tank drop coming up here. And I think there's a Templar. There it is. He's gonna try to get that storm, but he doesn't have enough energy. So here's that scan coming down. Gonna see this opening. We'll see if he just drops it right here. And I'm guessing Dingo's gonna... Ooh, he actually might get at a good spot in this corner. So we'll see if he goes for the corner drop. He is going to go for the corner drop. But there's three cannons here. Makes it pretty hard to drop. But he's going to get a good shot off. And 63. Got five kills right there. So didn't get as many as he want. But he did get a shot off. So 60 probes to 40 SCVs. And another drop it looks like is coming from Rabbit. So Rabbit dropping like a machine. These games have been absolutely... This tournament has been absolutely amazing. Zero toxic, toxicity. I always mess up your name. Mad respect and obviously sword mad respect to you guys for putting this together. I mean this format is pretty cool because you get to see a lot of the good players play each other. There's a lot of games. And I mean obviously we haven't even seen the other group play, group three, I think, and that's Hydra, Jose, and Scan. Those are gonna be some epic games, I'm sure. And here comes another drop from Dingo. And stimming up, gonna try to take out the Shuttle, there's a Templar, and he's going to get the storm off, and not going to get many kills right there. So, didn't even get any, I don't think. Here's that drop over here. So, he didn't get any kills right there. Building another command center, and there is a covert ops right there. Here comes another drop from Rabbit. Dingo is basically back to having full 
uh, his, his economy back. He's got three extra Nexuses here. That drop that he landed was huge. If he didn't land that drop, uh, Rabbit would have been in a really good position. So he's going to go in this corner again. See, upgrading. There's a drop coming from Dingo, but here's that drop from Rabbit. And going to pull to the side. He's at 89 Proba Dubs. And down to 30, 27 probes. Huge, huge hit. Here's a drop coming over here from Dingo. Really good job there by Rabbit. So that is going to sway the game in front oh, for Rabbit. So here comes that drop. Don't put your shuttle in the front. And going to drop a Zealot. And going to get sniped out. So good job there by Rabbit. Sending this Corsair out here to get that vision. And the three extra Nexuses might even want to make one more just in case. Rabbit is dropping just as much as Dingo this game. here, And some more turrets coming down from Rabbit. And he's got a lot of scans right here. So four scans right there. This is the one that he's got hotkeyed. And going to lose that dropship at 173 supply. So he might just go for the attack. Uh, he's got three... Dropships getting loaded up here. Here comes another drop from Dingo right over the front. One Templar in that one, one Templar in the other. And gonna get sniped out, so good job there by Rabbit. Now Rabbit definitely gonna go on the attack, I think. I think it's time. Scan coming down, here's that drop from Rabbit. I mean, Rabbit is so Gosu. And just gonna drop right over the front. Here's a Siege and 51 probes all the way down to 33. Gonna try to get to some more kills and 29 proba dubs. So really good job there by Rabbit. And now he's got 3k in the bank and have to start getting some gas. And he could just start pumping out the Marines as much as he wants. Dingo needs to land a drop. Let's see if he's got any upgrades. One upgrade on his shield. Let's see what the upgrades are for Rabbit. One, two, and one, one. So the upgrades are definitely in favor of Rabbit. And Rabbit's basically maxed out. He just needs to start building up his base. He's still going to build some turrets here, getting some defense, getting a uh, lockdown, it looks like. Going to do that for drops, use that for drops. And here's a drop coming over here. I don't think that's going to be able to get through, though. Building a factory right here. And Dingo did kill that one armory that was getting that upgrade as well, so... <laughs> Excuse me, this is not going to... Oh, there is a Corsair. Okay, so I was going to say. Come on. So this is the one with the... Oh, we stemmed it, so he did see it. And he is going to get that sniped out. So beautiful job there by Rabbit. Using his mini-map like a boss. Dingo is low on his money. Rabbit is really high on his money. And I'm surprised. Here's some scans coming down. I don't see another drop coming just yet from... Rabbit and he's gonna just go for the attack. It looks like he's gonna see there's not much up here And we'll see if he maybe even just scans all in the middle just to really see exactly what he's up against But he's gonna have he's got one two upgrades let's See if Dingo's got another drop coming on the way I'm Gonna take this out in the front. He's maxed out. So Rabbit gonna go on the attack I think he has to get that vessel getting a wraith here I think and he got all of his gas on the side so trying to pick up that gas here comes another big drop coming from Dingo. That's a lot of shuttles. Five shuttles right there. He's going to try to sneak this one in. Sometimes you want to build cannons right here. They can snipe out, take out some of the tanks, and then make, make the player have to siege. And here comes the drop. And going to try to sneak it around. And going to drop it right here. We'll see if there's any Templars in here. doesn't look like there's any Templars in here. So this is really not going to do anything to Rabbit. And Rabbit's economy is huge right now sending these guys out there's a dt right there so now it looks like rabbit's gonna go straight on the offensive and dingo does have his his economy back but rabbit's economy is huge and looks like he's gonna go for another tank drop another skin coming down and here are his tanks in the middle one two upgrades let's see if he's getting just getting that other upgrade right there. Building some more factories here. Dingo probably prepping another drop. Building his gateways really uh, weirdly. Here's this three robotics right here. Going to maybe try to start dropping. But starting to push through the front. Nice job with the fire bats. He knows he's not up against any air. So these guys are good against the zealots here. 
So Rabbit showing you why he is super, super Gosu. And here is another tank drop. Some scans came down. I think he saw. Might drop a tank right here. There's your tanks. Dropping them. Going to get... Nice storm right there. Is he going to get any of the kills? No, not going to get a shot off, but he's pushing through the front. Building a bunker here. Smart move here. Some zealots. Going to try to drop these zealots on the tanks. And if Rabbit wins this one, then he can play a little bit uh, super risky on his next games. Dropping these zealots right here nicely. So good job there by Dingo. He's going to try to go for this tech. These firebats in here are crushing it. And we'll see if another drop comes from Dingo. Dingo needs to try to drop Rabbit, but Rabbit's economy is just too big. Building some more barracks right here. And he's just got a full base. Five factories plus another six. And then he's got all of these barracks. And just going to slowly push in here. He's got the 2-2 two, two upgrades. 2-1-1 two, one, one upgrades for Dingo. And going to build some, probably going to build some turrets soon. Bringing in a lot of his SCVs. Might bring in a whole 12 SCVs if he can. He wants to get rid of some of his SCVs for sure. Bringing the tanks on the top to try to slowly work his way into the probes right here. And this is not looking good for Dingo. Rabbit at 10k, 6k. Rabbit always able to get a ton of gas. I don't know how he does it, but he's always able to get a ton of gas. Moving this tank a little bit closer. Gonna take out, try to take out this cannon if he can. And just going to keep building bunkers here. So I'm not really worried about any DTs or anything like that. And just going to continue to build the bunkers. Repair that bunker right there. Here comes your Zealots. And here comes a drop of Zealots on here. The attack. Going to use some storms right here. But there's a lot of bunkers. Nice storm right there. And might be able to break this. Some more zealots are just going to spawn in time, but this is a lot of tanks that are well upgraded. Firebats in the bunkers. Bunkers are really tough to kill. And the pump is just going to be huge from Rabbit. Like he just came from the gym. He's going to be swole. And I think that's going to be the G. G. Yeah, there's a GG. Obviously, it's going to be rematched. So. Three and one, Dingo is up on Rabbit. So we'll see if Rabbit plays a little bit different on his next games. So good games right there. Give it a like, give it a subscribe. He won two TVPs. Very nice of Rabbit right there. So showing you how sick his Terran is. And uh, maybe this will change your guys' opinion. Maybe you guys think Rabbit's going to win at all. I don't know. But uh, he's up three to one, and I'll cast the second series tomorrow. So posting this tonight. Have a good, it's Monday, it's only Monday, I thought it was Tuesday. Have a good uh, rest of your Monday night, and if you watch this on Tuesday, have a good Tuesday. So I'll talk to you guys later, peace! Okay. Let's see what the score is. Damn. Okay. Yeah. And let's see. Ten. I think I stopped recording.